Hey, what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this video we are looking at the monday night football prize picks plays we have the seahawks going to new york to face off against the giants close spread one and a half and a decent total 47 and a half right now i think it's going to be pretty decently uh, high scoring slate or high scoring game so let's go ahead and get into it. it's been a bit of a rough stretch yesterday's plays just went two and four definitely need to do a lot better than that no excuses um just didn't have the right plays some things didn't fall our way. You know how it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and get into today's picks. As always, if you enjoy the video still, appreciate the like button, subscribe if you have not already. You can check out other links in the description. And let's get started. So first prop that we were looking at, taking a receiver, taking DK Metcalf over 61 and a half receiving yards. It's a good spot against the Giants secondary. They let teams put up points um, against them in bunches. We saw you know, last week 49ers. They have a great offense, but Debo went 6 for 129. They let uh, Josh Dobbs do whatever he wanted in the first half of that game. And then in week one, you know, big blowout against the Cowboys. A big blowout loss for them. Um, so we didn't get touched. The Cowboys offense was on the field a ton, but CD and company still had good success against that defense. And I think Metcalf, 61 and a half receiving yards, coming off of a, a great game against the Panthers defense. It's a really solid line. I'm going to be taking a look at him a lot. Uh, you have... JSN at 28 and a half, and then you have Lockett at 51 and a half. I just feel most comfortable with DK Metcalf against the Giants. So mismatch for anybody in that secondary. Uh, on the other side, I think you can definitely target some giant receiver props as well. Slayton has been the receiver that's been on the field the most the first three weeks. He's playing you know, above 80% of the snaps the last few weeks and uh, needing 40 yards against Seahawks. I think it's another good spot to target. We saw what Thielen did against him last week. Uh, and what Andy Dalton did, Jared Goff threw for a lot of yards, and St. Brown had over 100 yards, and then uh, in week one, they let Stafford have success, even though they ran a ball a lot, but Puka and Tutu Atwell both had big games in week one, and that's why I think you can definitely target some giant pass catchers, even though they're usually pretty risky, but I like Slayton over 39.5, and, and I'm also going to be taking Darren Waller over 48.5, because he's still their number one go-to on offense uh especially without Barkley I mean Barkley's in there he is a go-to but Barkley's doubtful for this game doesn't look like he will play so it's going to be another spot where Waller tough matchup for him last week against the 49ers whole offense wasn't able to get going different story I think Daniel Jones will have a pretty good game today I think their offense will move the ball and put up some points and if that's the case Waller will be involved and I think Slayton will be involved taking their overs uh going over to Pass, rush, and receiving touchdowns. I think Daniel Jones can get you two total touchdowns today. Maybe one through the air, one through the ground is what I'm kind of expecting. Usually for a quarterback, you'll get one and a half passing touchdowns as their line. But at least with Daniel Jones, we're getting his rushing upside there as well. Uh, you can take shots on Geno Smith too, but I feel a little better about Daniel Jones just because we know Geno Smith and the Seahawks and uh, Pete Carroll, they like to run a lot. They like to run when they're inside the, the 10, inside the 5, so... There are, might not be a ton of chances unless it's uh, you know, like a 15-plus yard touchdown pass from Geno Smith to get some of those or like third and goal situations. Uh, but right now, throw in those four props. I'm taking Geno Smith over 250 half passing yards. I think on sportsbooks, you can probably tell this at 250-plus or even go a little bit more if you wanted to at 274-plus. Uh, I think both quarterbacks will have decent games, and if I'm taking... You know, DK Metcalf, you can correlate that with his quarterback and Geno Smith. Uh, he's been pretty solid uh, for the Seahawks, 2-1. and one. After losing their first game pretty badly to the Rams, he's bounced back nicely against Detroit, against Carolina, averaging over 300 yards in those two games, and wouldn't be surprised if he gets uh, close to that again today against his Giants defense. And then finally, looking at rushing yards, uh, Kenneth Walker line is... 65 and a half on sports books i'd probably take this at like 60 plus rushing yards just to be safe or you can take his alternative line and bump it up to like 70 plus want to be depending on your risk tolerance uh but 65 and a half on prize picks i still feel better about him than like matt Breida on the other side uh and i'm going to be taking him at 65 and a half rushing yards he's still getting you you know around 14 to 18 carries on the ground maybe a little more depending on how he's going uh, Charbonnet is getting his touches as well, but Kenneth Walker just has that game-changing speed, can break a big one, 50-plus yarder, 
And if that happens, then you're going to be looking really nice to get you 66 yards. Giants defense has allowed running backs to put up numbers as well. They let James Conner go for 106 earlier this year. Obviously, McCaffrey's a different beast, but he had a, a great game. And then week one, they let, or, yeah, and then in week one, Pollard didn't get a ton of carries, but he still had a, a decent showing, I believe 70 yards on the ground, um, or close to that. So I think Walker can get you 66, given his role in the offense. Maybe if you wanted to take his touchdown, you can take that. Um, but I'm taking him rushing yards. So those are the six props I got today. Three Giants, three Seahawks, and what should be a competitive game. Hopefully, it's the day that we hit. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, I haven't hit a six pick since, um, you know, I think week one or two we hit one. But hopefully today's the day. These are the six that I'm rocking with. Best of luck if you are using them. And I will catch you all next time.